Hey everybody, this is part seven of the Active Directory Certificate Services lessons and setting up a infrastructure with Active Directory Certificate Services. So let's just go over what we've done so far. Um, we've created a offline CA, that's this one, Win 2019-001. We've created a intermediate or an issuing CA, and that's this one right here, and it's issued a few certificates now. Um, it's in issued some AD certificates. It's issued the Win 10 certificate for this, this box right here. And let's see what else. Uh, it, it's issued Google.com for our test and CA sub. So that's this box right here to shoot it to itself. So what we want to do now is actually go in here and we want to create a cert for HTTPS cert serve or the box and cert serve. So there's an IIS server running on this issuing server and we can show, I can show you this. Let's open that up. IIS. And on here, you can see sites, default website, cert serve, cert enroll. So both of those. Right now though, there is no there's no, let's, let's go to the default website and the bindings we can look here and there's only, it's only listening on port 80. So it's got to listen on to, to port 443 for SSL. So we've got to bring in a, a certificate for that. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the MMC and open up certificates on here. And for some reason, when I click this, it's not working. So I'll just open the file location. And I'll right click and run as administrator. And we'll add the certificates for the computer. So certificates, add computer account, next. Next for the local computer, that's right. And there we go. So now it's here. So you can see right now, so this has a certificate, right? It has the one we saw, the CA sub, Chrissy. It also has the issuing CA cert right there. It's interesting. Should have it under, let's make sure it has it here too. Oh, it does. Root authority issuing CA has it twice. All right, so that's fine. So what we want to do is go into here, go to all tasks and request a new certificate. So here we can enroll. So we click next. That's fine. We're going to pick the web server and we're going to call this. So this is CA. So we want to use the common name and CA, let's see, not zero, dash sub dot Chris Eve dot lab. And we'll add that. And then down here in the alternative name, we're gonna have some DNS records. So we're gonna add CRL, CRL dot Chris Eve dot lab as we as you know we've added that before we've added that in there so in our dns in ad in the actual certificates so we want to make sure we have that one we also want to add crl we'll just add that and we're also going to add ca sub dot chris eve 
dot lab and CA sub. We'll just add that one too. Okay. And we will roll. And then we'll finish. So what that did was that created a certificate right here. And you can see that it's going to be this one. And they look the same, right? Because, and we can open this up, but let's open this up. Details. And if we go to subject alternative names, there you see all these listed here. So this is the one we want to use, the one that expires 1120. This one is the machine one that was given out. And you can see its subject Let's see, where's subject alternative name? Let's find that. Where is that? Oh, right, I'm right here. CA sub, CA dash sub, there it is. Okay, so it's the one that expires on 1120. So now we, we've created that. It's an easy way if you're AD joined you can easily request a new cert there. So now we'll go into here, go to bindings, and we're gonna edit this. We're gonna change this. Actually, it won't let us do that. Let's uh, go into bindings, let's add HTTPS 443. We don't need any anything else there. Let's just select. Let's view that. Make sure that's the right one. I think that is the right one. Yep, looks good. Okay. And now we'll close that. And now, now it should be listening. Let's try to open up a browser over here. Minimize that. Okay, so this should be HTTPS. CRL. Should be able to use CRL. Can we do that? Yes, we can. And then we can look at this certificate and you see that we didn't get any errors connecting to this because we trust this cert there's the common name there we go everything looks good issued today perfect uh so crl cert and roll I don't think that's, that's not where I want to go. I want to go to cert SRV. Okay. Okay. So this is the web interface. All right. So this is the web interface for the certificate enrollment. So as you saw, we could use certificate enrollment since we have those those uh, templates created in here. We can just go into the MMC like we did over here and just be, we can enroll a cert. So let's ref no, let's not do that. Let's refresh this. And there's the new cert. Right here. Okay. So this is using the certificate enrollment. So you can request a certificate. So you're probably not going to do this if you can just use 
if you can just use the MMC, why why would you do this? But you can if you want. You can put a you can create all this and then submit it and get a cert that way. So so there's a few ways to do this. So let's take a look. I don't know why that's off. Make sure that starts back up. Okay, so this is the CRL. Let's also check while we're doing this. Take a look at this and just make sure our CRL distribution point looks good. So we have HTTP. Let's go to this. Issuing CA.CRL. That's interesting. Okay. It has some spaces in it. You can see the percent 20. Let's see if we can copy that. See if I can paste that in. Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's try that again. Let me see if I can do this. Control C. Uh, what do I have on here? Do I have Chrome? Yeah. Let me open this in Chrome. Paste that in. Clean that up a little bit. Okay, so there, you see what happened? It downloaded this. So that's that's very good. Look at this. So the certificate revocation list, it downloaded it from there. So it's ac accessible using that CRL, CRL URL that we put in, that we changed. So that's, that's perfect, all right? And there should be, let's see, freshest CRL, published CRL locations. So the next CRL publish. CRL number one. Okay, so that, that looks good. So everything there looks looks perfect. So it's able to get to that. And we're able to download the CRL, which is you have to be able to do for this to work. So we have, and also the authority information access, we can check that too while we're here. Let's see if we can copy that. Let's just paste it, remove that. And so it downloaded the, what did it download? The cert. Chris Eve, root authority, issuing CA. Interesting. Yeah. So it pulled down the intermediate certificate, really. It's just, that's what it looks like. All right. So that is working. So we've stood up in this, in these videos, we've stood up a Microsoft certificate services infrastructure. Now you could add another, another subordinate CA. You'd probably want to, to have another, a second one. And you just keep your root CA, keep that offline. You have to turn it on whatever you decide it for the, the amount of time that you have to create a CRL, which we did six months in here. But so every, every like five, five and a half months, you have to log in and turn this thing on and 
go ahead and, and then publish a new CRL. So that, that's going to have to be something that has to be done. So you just need to put a reminder in and do that. You can make it longer if you want it. If you don't, if you don't care about that, that CRL, you can make that years. Honestly, you can make it 10 years and then you won't have to worry about it, but probably the best practice, probably like six months is, is a pretty good number, maybe three months, whatever. All right. So that is all for the Microsoft certificate services video series. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.